Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to be filming today's video because it's a video that I have never filmed before and big inspo came from Allegra Shaw's recent video and I wanted to make one of my own. I've done many clothing related videos in the past but I've never done a year roundup and there were many many beautiful additions that I think will be timeless and endless in my wardrobe that I made in 2021 and so for today's video I wanted to do a nice little bundled wrap up of my top 10 clothing purchases of 2021. Throughout the year I do lots of hauls, there's lots of gifting in the influencer space when it comes to clothing and there's a lot of rotation that happens in my wardrobe. I frequently declutter my wardrobe, I use apps like Depop to sell pieces in my wardrobe and there's a lot of rotation that happens. There's a lot of things and I'll be like, wow, this is an amazing top. And then it doesn't end up staying in my wardrobe. So for today's little roundup, these are 10 of the pieces, my favorite pieces from the year that I think have made a timeless entrance into my wardrobe. And that I think will be here for years to come. There's a nice range of products from like high street to high end, if you will. And I'm very excited to show you my, my top 10 picks. So if you like these videos and want me to continue doing them in, in the years to come, do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos from me, I would love to hear from you what you your favorite purchases were, if any at all, in 2021. And I'm excited to show you my top 10 picks. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start with bottoms. This year was a was a big year for bottoms and I'm very excited with the discoveries that I have made. The most recent one being the Abercrombie Curve Love jeans, specifically the dad jeans. I recently did a big haul of the Abercrombie Curve Love jeans and out of all of the jeans that I have tried over the years and said were my favorites for my awkward little body shape, like this is the best fitting jean that I have ever found and I'm so thrilled to hear that so many of you have been experiencing the same with these. The dad jeans in particular just have a really nice like loose comfortable fit but it's got a, a nice like tight waist lots of room for my larger legged larger butted gals out there and I just love this wash in particular it's a really nice like true blue classic denim and I, I'm just so thrilled to have found these I feel like that was just I mean it was a constant struggle for me finding jeans that fit me properly and I feel like that has just closed the gap for me in my wardrobe and I'm so thrilled to have these going into the new year I feel like it's just it's just gonna do so much for my wardrobe and I'm, I'm really happy and that was such a such a find this year I yeah they're they're fantastic and if you haven't tried them I'm gonna link them below I couldn't recommend giving them a try more so the other pantaloon favorite that I have from the year uh, unfortunately brands like Zara and H&M just have such constant quick turnover with their stock so it's it's hard to keep up and unfortunately these exact pants don't exist anymore but they always come out with something similar but I, I went back and actually took a look at when I purchased these because it feels like they've been in my wardrobe for so much longer than they have. So at the start of the year, they, they joined my world and these are the Zara menswear pants. If you guys have followed my channel and followed along with my outfits, you'll know just how much I have worn these. The tailoring of these menswear pants is absolutely beautiful. Quality is, is incredible for the price that they were. I love the color. I feel like a very fancy, classy lady in these and I can't tell you how many times I've worn these, how, how well it fits in my wardrobe and how well it goes with other pieces in my wardrobe. These have just been such a staple all year and I, I hope like, it, I mean, they They've worn so well. I've washed them in the washer. Like they're amazing. They they do not die. And I hope that I will have these for years and years and years to come. They were such a fabulous addition to my wardrobe this year. I, I love them. And I wish that it was a constant style that remained that I could be like, oh yeah, those are the menswear pants. But Zara has like so many pieces that are named the menswear pants. It's like hard to keep track of which one is actually the same. But I wish that at that time I had just bought every color in them because they're so good. My final pantaloon, my friends, my final bottom pick. <laughs> Well, um, is definitely more recent. And these are the Philippa K. Julie trousers. I've got a lot of trouser and pantaloon favorites in my wardrobe. They're just, I'm, I'm definitely just a pants girl. I'm a pants and I'm a jeans gal. I try to dabble with skirts and dresses here and there, but that's besides the point. These were a recent addition and I am obsessed. It's just a perfect, perfect fit. It's a perfect fit. I love the material and I was just lacking like a, a perfect classic pair of black trousers. I have my Arquette kind of like lighter beige camel trousers that I love so much, but I never actually ended up getting them in black and I was just missing a pair of black trousers. Now I've got the Arquette ones, I've got my Zara gray ones, and now I have my perfect classic black trousers. And I, I couldn't recommend these more. These are these are gorgeous and I love the material and the fit is perfect. And it was also my like first introduction to Philippa K as the brand. And I look forward to trying more pieces from them. It's a beautiful, uh, sustainable clothing brand. If you haven't checked it out, I will absolutely link those below. Beautiful, beautiful edition. I feel like it just completed my, my pants life. Let's move on to some tops. This one, ooh. 
This was a very luxurious, very spendy purchase, and it is from the brand Kate, which I jokingly do call Kahate. This is their Joe sweater. This is one of the pieces that they continuously bring more colors out in. I had bought this in a Net-a-Porter, net a -porte sale, so I had gotten a discount on it, which is why I bought it, and I'm I'm obsessed. I've worn this to death. It's, it's so beautiful. I love the cut and shape. There's so many dupes that are available out there. I was definitely in a spendy moment, but when it comes to pieces like this, when you're buying cashmere sweaters, something that's gonna be more timeless your wardrobe like especially in a neutral color like this like I bought it with the intention of keeping this in my wardrobe for ever and so when it comes to those pieces I, I don't mind spending a little bit more but I love this color I'm so happy that this that this shape has been here to stay in in the clothing world and yeah I feel like this is just one of those classic pieces that I can just always go to whenever I don't know what to wear like I just throw this on with any of my jeans or any of my pantaloons and I feel like I, I just feel extra fabulous and feel very clean and put together when I wear this shape and it's nice I love this v-neck I feel like you just nicely expose whatever jewelry you're wearing which ironically I'm not wearing any jewelry today. My long necklace is in a knot and neither Dan or I can get it unknotted and it's very frustrating right now and I'm upset about it. <laughs> but anyway, this was absolutely a favorite purchase that I made this year and I also got it in another lighter color and I love them. They're pricey, but they are going to be timeless in my wardrobe. Now the next piece is also another gray sweater and it is another cashmere sweater, definitely on the lower end of the price spectrum. But this was a Zara cashmere sweater that I picked up this year and it's this lovely little crew neck and I had realized this year that I had a huge gap in, in the sweater portion of my wardrobe, especially because I live in Canada and it's cold and we live in sweaters. <laughs> but I got my turtlenecks taken care of with my Ray turtlenecks. I picked those up last year and they have just been perfect. But sometimes I want something lighter. Sometimes I don't want to wear a turtleneck. And I was looking for these lighter sweater options to throw on and not think about. And Zara had come out with these beautiful, beautiful cashmere crew neck sweaters. And obviously they're much more affordable than something like the, the Kate cashmere sweaters. And I love this one. The drape, the hang, the shape of it, it's beautiful. I kick myself every day for not buying the black one because at the time when they had released this, it had been in black. I'm gonna go, like when I'm done filming this video, I'm gonna go creep and see if there's a black option available because it's so good, it fits perfectly. I love to have these crew neck sweaters um, to wear on their own, but also as layering pieces and the color, the material, the shape, it's a, it's a timeless addition to my wardrobe and I couldn't believe that I was missing things like this, but that was such a, such a great find. I love finding like really amazing quality, perfect timeless pieces from brands like Zara and H&M because I just get so excited to find something at a lower price point and then the quality is like up there as well. It's always a very exciting, nice, uh, sneaky find. <laughs> so the next pieces I wanna talk about, the next category, this was like a big category discovery for me in 2021. It's, it's a piece I've worn before, but I feel like 2021 was the year where we all really embraced the bralettes. This year was the year of the bralettes and I made it my mission to get my bases covered and buy all of the, the neutrals that I needed and wanted in my wardrobe. I still really, really want a white one. But bralettes, my friends, this year they reigned supreme for me and really became such a staple in my wardrobe, wearing them on their own in my super sweaty hot days of summer and then also layering up with like blazers and cardigans and coats in your wardrobe. I just can't get enough of the bralettes. Two of these are definitely much more spendy ones this is the Bottega Veneta knitted one that I love so dearly and wear so sparingly because I'm I'm so scared to stain her with my bronzer. <laughs> I also have the Jacquemus black one and I've worn this one endlessly. Like this has gotten so much wear. And then I also actually had bought this beautiful little cashmere bralette from Zara and these just get so much love in my wardrobe and they have become such a staple. And yeah, 2021 was the year of the bralette. Let's move on to some blazer favorites. If you've been a long time viewer of my channel, you'll know my love for blazers. I never mind spending a pretty penny on blazers because blazers, especially when you're when you're paying for good quality, like it's a noticeable difference. And they're also pieces that I will have in my wardrobe forever. So I, I don't mind saving up and thinking about it a little bit more and making um, some better quality purchases when it comes to blazer. And this year, <gasps> I bought my wardrobe NYC blazer. Oh my God. First of all, wardrobe NYC as a brand I'm obsessed with. There's a few brands like wardrobe NYC, like Ray, The Row. Um, if I had an unlimited budget in the world, like those are the brands that I would be purchasing from and, and 
creating my entire wardrobe out of but I am obsessed with this I, I love the very fine houndstooth pattern it's such a beautiful like sturdy oversized blazer and as you can see most of my wardrobe is like gray and black and other neutral things so this just makes a, a permanent beautiful <laughs> addition to my wardrobe and the shape of it is just perfect I love her to death and she's a she's a beautiful absolute favorite purchase from this year so I actually have another blazer that I want to mention and this is one that I purchased over the summer and I had bought it with a discount for Matches Fashion that I got for my birthday and I was so stoked. I had no idea that they did that and I had had this in my wish list for a long time. In the fro, Victoria actually raves about these particular blazers a lot and I had lusted over this for, for quite a while and was so happy to have gotten a discount and saved a few dollars on this because she was definitely spendy but my Jacquemus linen black blazer. Ooh. That's making the lighting go crazy. Okay, we'll just put her down now. Here's a little look. Here's the here's the linen blazer. We love her. I have my black Acne Studios blazer that is a, a permanent staple in my in my wardrobe and collection. And I wanted a summertime version. I wanted a lighter linen blazer that I can wear, especially when layering up with bralettes. I still want to continue that into the summer, even when I'm sweating and buying the beautiful linen quality pieces just makes it possible for me to wear that style and continue it through the summertime and in the hotter weather. So I have my light cream linen blazer that I had purchased from Frankie Shop years ago and I was so happy to have added the black linen version to my blazer collection and she was such a staple through the summer and even not in the summer like it's a blazer you can wear year round but it's just that nicer lighter material. My acne one's a very thick like heavy wool beautiful quality blazer um, but she's toasty. She's a hot one so I love that I added the lighter version into my wardrobe and yeah huge favorite from this year i i feel like i've already mentioned this but i can't remember but regardless it doesn't hurt to have an end of the year roundup repeat does it now i had a huge moment with bodysuits if you guys remember the video i was like why has no one told me about the magic of bodysuits why have i waited years and years and years to add bodysuits into my wardrobe it was such a huge discovery for me like bodysuits in general but uh, i have found my favorite and i have since purchased multiple colors in it and i wanted to just if I've said it already, apologies, but here we go. My favorite bodysuit out of all of the ones that I have tried since my discovery of bodysuits is the A. Goldie Rian bodysuit. I now have it in black, white, this lovely little creamy latte color, and the brown. I pretty much got rid of all of my other bodysuits once I came to the realization that the Rianne bodysuit was everything I wanted and more. It's a ribbed bodysuit. It's got a really nice like thin tapered neck. It's super comfortable and obviously like now I have all of my my neutrals covered and they go with absolutely everything and bodysuits are just magical for wearing on their own, layering up with absolutely anything, wearing underneath maybe some more itchy sweaters. Um, and I think this particular shape, this cut, uh, the really nice thin ribbed material, I think it's just so chic and so flattering. They wash very well. I've had a few, I had a few ones that I love from Zara that just like pilled instantly the first time I washed them. Anogo, those ones have been washed, worn and loved. They're perfect, the quality is exceptional. And they were a huge, huge favorite and in installment in my closet this year. Now, number 10 on my list, my top purchases of 2021 is one of the most recent purchases. And I am sorry because this is a tease because this doesn't exist anymore, but I, I want to continue talking about it because I want it to be a permanent piece that Naked Fashion carries, and that is the Josephine H.J. Naked Fashion Collection coat, this beautiful wool coat. Though this is a newer addition to my wardrobe, I know that this is going to be a coat that I'm going to wear and cherish forever. The quality is beautiful. The cut, like the tailoring on this coat, Oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. The color's perfect. It's a really nice, it's kind of like, it's a neutral camel color, but it pulls a little bit more green. Like, I wonder if that'll even show up in the camera too. It's like a little bit more on the olive -y side, but I love this like oversized kind of menswear inspired utility wool coat. I just, it's this, this, <laughs> and I just think that this is gonna be worn and loved by me for so many years to come. Dear Naked Fashion, please, please, please. Like even, even if it goes beyond your collab, like just keep making coats like this because they're perfect and everybody needs to have the blessing of this coat in their life. <laughs> so those are my top 10 clothing purchases from the year of 2021. What do you guys think of my picks? Were there any that surprised you or were you pretty much expecting the list that I brought to you here? I would love to hear your thoughts on, on my top picks, my top purchases from the year, and I would love to hear what yours have been through the year. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. I'll see you all tomorrow for a new Landmas video. Bye.